I thought it was a wonderful idea. Wine is definitely becoming um, something new in Wisconsin and we definitely get a lot of Minnesota people. Wineries in Wisconsin itself have expanded um, exponentially in the last 10 years. Um, my dad and I actually started the winery uh, four years ago. Um, he was the one that did all the designs for the cottage buildings and um, I incorporated the wedding grounds to the environment and um, but we both built the buildings together and um, that was about four years ago took us a while to do everything we also planted the vineyard um, four years ago so our um, vines are producing now at this point and we opened our doors to the public about a year and a half ago and he always thought that it would be more fun to put a creative mind to it he started going with my mother over to Europe quite a bit and love the architect over there it's so much different from our architect and so when he came back he um, just started fiddling on paper and see if he could come up with um, houses that were much more unique than what you see in the States and came up with a cottage look and um, so all, everything is brand new it just looks really old some people ask you know how long have these buildings been here and I say well they're brand new but we made them look old we're definitely out in the country but it's so convenient only three miles from town is really nice People love to come out here and sit out on the patio and view the countryside because you really can't get that anywhere. A lot of times if you go to a bar or restaurant that have a patio, you're looking out onto their parking lot or another building, but here you really do get the countryside. And we're only three miles out of town, so it's not too far of a drive for people to just come on a leisurely evening and have some wine. We were a little bit different of a vineyard than um, a lot of Wisconsin uh, has. We um, are making our own wine, um, but we also have wines from around the world. So it's kind of like a, a winery meets wine bar. Um, I love all kinds of wines, and I think that everybody else will too if they get to know um, what they are. And so we kind of want to educate on all of the aspects, local wines plus um, regional wines plus around the world wines. Um, of course, here in this area, sweet wines always go much further than the dry red wines. We're not quite to that area. However, dry red wines are what I love, so um, I usually have a very nice selection of those in as well. But the sweet wines are the definite. Um, we have a lot of dessert wines as well. Um, one of our most popular one is called Summer Days. It's a dessert pomegranate wine that's really unique and uh, very, very tasty. The one thing I notice, um, especially around here, are people are kind of afraid to come out here. They don't know much about wine. Um, they think they don't like it because they had one red wine that was so dry and they think all wine is like that. It is not the case. I guarantee if you come out, um, first of all, you'll have a lot of fun. We have, we're a very casual environment. Um, we like to have fun and I guarantee you almost we'll always find a wine that you can like. Um, sweeter red wines, sweeter white wines um, is usually where people start out and we have a ton of delicious wines and so um, I don't want people to become scared for coming out here. That's what we're here for is to educate and um, you know people once they figure out what wines they like they literally fall in love with wine. Um, it's you don't get that too much with beer or other drinks like you don't hear oh my god I love that drink but wine I hear people all the time say oh I love this wine it's so good and so we just got to find the right one for you so that you can enjoy it and it's out there there's tons of wines in all different flavors 